Edward Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 1, Season 2, Shane's Exploit. After Diesel 10 and his engines left, there was a lot of work to do on the island of Sodor, but there were no engines. All of the engines had been damaged. Most of the engines had been damaged. So Sir Topham had bought a new engine. His name was Shane. Boko, Stephen, James, Gordon, and Shane were the platform. He is strong, said Gordon. Indeed, he is strong. But his shape is a little awkward. Yes, did you see him struggle with his tender? Yes, indeed, he almost ran over the cattle. Quiet, he's much better than all of you, said Boko. Yes. Much stronger indeed and much longer. Even a better color, if I say so. I've, I've done it, said Shane as he rolled along. Soon Shane rolled over to where Oliver was. He dropped off his passengers to Oliver. And Oliver pulled Shane's passengers in a brake van special. Oliver liked it whenever... All of the passengers praised him and took pictures of him. He raced through the island of Sodor to the round house. People, they went out and took pictures. Soon it was time for Oliver to drop the passengers back to Shane. Shane started up, but he didn't go for a long snap. The coupling in between Shane and his tender had broke. Shane's driver came out of his cab. Hmm, looks like the coupling snapped, he said. I have a newspaper, but we need a bootlace. He walked over to the coach. Does anybody have a bootlace? He asked. Nobody answered. It looks like you have one, he said. One of the passengers in the window was holding one. He was angry, but but he wanted the train to move on, so he gave the bootlace. Soon, they were coupled again. You'll be running like an old engine. But you have to be slow, Shane. Then let's go, said Shane, slowly, trying to puff away. Shane struggled with his tender not coupled on, but he was able to move a little forward. Yes, you've done it, boy! I've done it! I've done it! cried Shane as the coach trailed along. He wasn't fast, but he slowly went up the bridge. He rolled down, not at a fast pace, but very slow. Soon he met Henry at the bottom of the hill. Would you like me to take it? It looks like you're struggling. Of course. Thank you, Henry, said Shane. You know what? I had troubles just like you, said Henry. But I overcame them, he said, as he puffed away to the train. Soon, Henry rolled up. Ah, there you are, Henry. Shane's in the siding. Okay. Percy, now take this train. Wait a minute. Where's Percy? Percy? Where's Percy? He could have bashed him into some buffers, or he could have dropped down into a mine. He could have rolled into a danger while he passed a danger sign. He could be stuck inside a tunnel with no seam to move right up or crash into a station's master house right through a wall. A straight through a woodland down a track that's overgrown or a secret found a secret tunnel to an island that's unknown. 
Tunnel? Oh, you've outdone yourself, James, laughed Gordon. Anyway, he could be caught up in a landslide or falling off a bridge or try to climb a mountain or be stuck up on a ridge. He could have been derailed while he was trying to win a race, imprisoned in steelworks, or be lost in outer space. So dark to Percy, stop fooling around. Ah! He could have gone off to some other place that we don't even know. He could be almost anywhere. So where did Thomas go? I know where he is, said Cranky. Where is he, Cranky? Um, Percy, he really, um, spit the truth out. He was left on the mainland when you guys went over to find Gordon. What? He's still on the mainland? Oh no, do we have to find him again? But that means that Sir Thomas, he could be anywhere in the world, he could be checking out the Nile, could be in the outback of Australia with a crocodile, could be in Paris, sitting by the Eiffel Tower, or chilling in Antarctica, wouldn't last an hour. Could be in the Himalayas, or acting like a tourist in the heart of Times Square. Are there any tracks there? Of course, the subway, said Gordon. So he's underground. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Could be in Rio de Janeiro as a carnival goes by, or out in Easter Island saying hi to a Moai. Really? I don't think there are tracks there. Or a Venice on a gondola. He's a tank engine. It could be rather a big gondola. It could be wrestling a sumo in a match in Tokyo. It could be almost anywhere. Oh, where did Percy go? Actually, I'm right here, sir. Why you, Percy? You made us worried. Yeah, cried Henry. Oh, Percy, you just take the train. He, 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 laughed Percy as he raced away, gone to the turntable. He soon raced behind and bashed right into Henry. Oh, come on, let's go, 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 said Percy. Ah, groaned Sir Topham Hat as they rode away.